in 1938 for the first time, the iconic bounding kangaroo appeared on an Australian coin. You could be excused for thinking this was the first time an Australian animal showed up on an Australian coin. But that honour actually goes to the 1910 threepence, sixpence, shilling and florin, as both the kangaroo and the emu held steady the Australian coat of arms during these years. 1938 was a big year, however, for the animals that appeared on Australian coins. With the coming of the larger and more elaborate coat of arms, so too did the depiction of the kangaroo and emu become more detailed. The strength and beauty of these animals now more elegantly represented. It was, however, the bounding kangaroo that captured the imagination of anyone who held the Australian penny in their hand. 1938 also saw the appearance of the Merino ram's head on the shilling. It has been said that the Australian economy for many years rode on the back of this fine animal. The highly prized fine wool that the Merino produced, earning Australia many export dollars. Not every animal that is depicted on an Australian coin is indigenous or iconic. This prancing steed appears on the 1934-35 Victorian centenary coin. In 1954, both the kangaroo and the lion shared the reverse of the Royal Visit commemorative coin. It's probably worth noting before I go any further that before Federation, colonies sometimes produced their own trading tokens like this 1865 trading token that depicts the black swan that was indigenous to the Swan River colony. 1966 saw the introduction of decimal coins in Australia and with that came the introduction of a whole bunch of new Australian animals on the reverse of the coins. On the one cent coin we find the feather-tailed glider. Amusingly in early literature this animal was sometimes referred to as the flying mouse. As with the one cent coin, Stuart Devlin would go on to design and sculpt the reverse of all the new decimal coins. His depiction of the frilled lizard here is arguably one of his most impressive works. In 1966, the official Royal Australian Mint mint set referred to this little animal as a spiny anteater. These days, we more accurately refer to this little marsupial as an echidna. Stuart Devlin's decision to depict the lyrebird as it displays its plumage makes this image a little difficult to make out for some. The platypus, perhaps Australia's most outlandish animal, is depicted here by Devlin swimming in a mountain stream. When it comes to circulating coins at least, the 50 cent piece moves back to depicting the kangaroo and emu as part of the Australian coat of arms, with the exception of the 2004 student design coin with its stylized depiction of a koala, wombat and bird. The last five animals that I will show on this video are the five kangaroos that make up the mob of roos that take pride of place on the Australian $1 coin. There are of course plenty more legal tender collectible coins that depict animals. But that's for part two.